For the last 10 years, I've been traveling throughout regional Australia, teaching the art of traditional Italian cuisine. Now, these are weekend workshops that uh, are open to up to 20 people, and they can be anybody, from the owner of a shop or the person that just enjoy cooking and want to spend a weekend a little bit different. We also have the men-only Friday night class that has been very popular. During my travels, I've been able to embrace a lot about the local culture of every single city and, and town where I've been traveling through. I've learned how to crack a whip, I've learned how to shear a sheep or ride a horse or even run away from an emu if I had to. But the reason why I'm visiting the towns is mainly to be able to uh, pass on what I have learned in the years that I lived in Italy, the first 24 years of my life. And I just want to give you a little sneak preview of what's happening during one of these uh, weekends. Have a look. So we're getting everything ready before uh, all the students come in. Uh, this morning, first day, we're making uh, gnocchi and lasagne. Uh, we're making a ragu, which is a bologna sauce. And, uh, and then we'll be making a tiramisu. So just preparing a few things for uh, the pesto. As you can see, the, the facilities are not uh, the professional facilities that you would find in a, in a normal kitchen environment. Uh, it's quite good. This is the, the hall. It's the, the place where most of the functions actually happen. So they actually didn't have any equipment here. We had to get the equipment from uh, around town. And that's what happens sometimes when we have, uh, when we have classes here in the, in the house. Just to let you know a little bit about uh, me, I, uh, I've been doing these classes for now over uh, 10 years. And I've, uh, I've done most of the outback in Queensland and in New South Wales uh, and traveling away for the weekend and doing this. It's, it feels very special, uh, not only for you guys, but also for us because we bring something that nobody else uh, is willing to bring. So when you hear a chef that is telling you that uh, he knows everything about Italian cuisine, he's already lying. There's no way that even, even not even my grandmother knowing everything about Italian cuisine. And this is what you're learning today. You're learning how to understand the texture because that's the most important thing. That's... Now, flour. The amount of flour is crucial, but I don't want to give you grams. I don't want to tell you this is the amount of grams. Because if I tell you you need, as an indicative uh, um, quote, 50 grams of flour for uh, two medium potatoes. What is a medium potato?
so we're probably the best one. So far, we don't have five dishes to come out, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Because it's already yes. one of the three recipe, but then you find out the reason why. Yeah. yeah. And you That's pick up, really you pick up like little pick things. Up yes. yeah. And I'm greedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like I like, and I like her. <laughs> That's it. So if you're interested, the contact us just here below. We look forward to hear from you. Ciao.